Welcome back, everybody, to D Ross MMA Boxing. Listen, I've been getting a whole bunch of inquiries about my opinion on Islam versus Charles Oliveira. Listen, I know a lot of my people in, in the jiu-jitsu committee are not going to be happy for what I got to say, but just hear me out and let me give you my explanation on why I believe Islam will win Saturday night. Now, I know you guys are saying, but he does jiu-jitsu and he's got this third-degree black belt in jiu-jitsu and all this other stuff. Yes, he does have jiu-jitsu, but what if I tell you he didn't do jiu-jitsu? <sighs> Now I just blew your minds, right? Because you're like, man, what are you talking about? He submitted all these people. Yes, he has submitted a lot of people. But that's, the, that's my point. He submitted them. He used submissions to, win, to defeat inferior grapplers. <laughs> Listen, I know you guys are thinking, to my, thinking in your head, like, this dude is going crazy. My point is this. That Islam, I mean, Charles Oliveira is able to get... A lot of submissions and, and rapid time, and he's able to upset a lot of people. A lot of people do not see the submissions coming. It throws them off. But he doesn't use position before submission, which is a concept in jiu-jitsu that has always been used. Listen, I got to get, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to pass your guard. I'm going to mount you. I'm going to make sure I got a good position on you, and then I'm going to slowly go for the submission and win the battle. But now we're a part of the jiu-jitsu community where they're all part of submission. And that's what you hear being preached, especially with, from flow grappling. That's exciting. I got it. Submission, submission, submission. But what happens is when you play the submission game, it's a high-risk situation. You may get the submission, but you may not. You understand? And it. And let me explain to you. It, 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 it works in a lot of cases. I'm just saying that I don't think it's going to work in this situation. Why? Because you have Charles Oliveira whose goal is to come in there and get a submission as quick as possible. And then you have Islam who his goal is to drown you. His goal is to tire you out, wear you down, use his superior wrestling skills. And once you get tired, then go for the submission. Look at Khabib versus Justin Gaethje. Khabib. He applied methodical pressure, he wore him out, and then he slowly got into his position to get the submission. That is what jujitsu used to be. It's what guys used to do. That's what um, Hicks and Gracie used to do when he would take guys down, uh, slowly go for the submission, and then he would win. The whole point was knowing how to maintain the position. If I get you into a an armbar situation, I want to. I should be able to be so skilled in the armbar situation that I should be able to hold you down for a long period of time from the armbar situation and not lose the position. If I take your back, I should be able to take your back and hold that position long enough. And then let's say I don't get the submission, but at least you cannot inflict damage upon me. That is what jujitsu used to be. Now, jujitsu is all about getting the submission. And so the heck with the position, I have to win. And that doesn't always happen when you have a guy that is strong, that is uh, just as knowledgeable as you are. What happens is you, and then not to mention, get slippery. Now you got a situation where you lose the position and you may not get that position back again, especially in MMA. So Charles' goal is to come in there and get a submission as quick as possible, which is why you see he has so many um, first and second round fights because his fights <laughs> pretty much don't last that long. But then you have Islam that's saying, you know what? My goal is to wear you down. They've already said their game plan is to wait until the third round, anything third and after, then go for the submission. You see what I'm saying? So the other thing is because of the five-minute rounds in MMA, jiu-jitsu, what it used to be known as, has changed because the idea of playing chess changes. It turns to speed chess. So now... You make a little bit more mistakes. You give a little bit more breaks. There's a little bit more openings there. It's an exciting situation, but it's not holistic, so to speak. And so now you have 
Charles Oliveira who says, you know what, in order for my jiu-jitsu to work, I have to be submission, 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 which will tire you out because you have to use a lot of movement for these submissions, and it tires you out, it wears you out, and then you have Islam that's like, you know what, go for it, I want you to do that. The more you trying to fight and struggle and, and get out of this situation, and I'll wait because eventually you're going to get tired. You said this never happened, Paul Felder. So Charles came in, he took Paul down, he ended up getting a, an anaconda choke. He could not get the choke, right? Because whatever happened, like I said, sometimes it could be a little bit too soon and the guy is too strong and he can resist it. Now, Charles wore his arms out. He got tired chasing the submission. He fell off. Then Paul came on top. He landed a couple of strikes. And that was the end of that round. They came back out again. He's, he looked like he recovered, but he's still a little bit, he's still a little bit fatigued because you have to understand, not only was he fatigued, but he's also taking punches, which means if you ever think about the video games, the reason why you see the bar going down every time you get punched, because that's exactly what happened. When you punch, people don't mention this, when you get hit, a level of your stamina and conditioning also goes down. People don't talk about that. You think that, oh, okay, you know. Um, he should be able to recover. He should be able to breathe easily. Not if you're getting punched in the face or elbow. I don't know if you ever felt getting hit before, but it goes down. So he takes a couple of uh, shots, and it, it is what it is. There was a time where he actually inverted and went for a knee bar. He couldn't get the, the position, couldn't get the submission. So what he did was he ended up laying down to his back. Booyah, he was tired. All of that movement... It was like every submission he was throwing at Paul was really wearing him down. And so he laid down and Paul came in and finished the fight. The only reason why he went back to the ground and pulled guard, went back to the guard, was because he was exhausted. He was tired. All of that moving around and chasing the position, he was tired. He was done for. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And so... Islam wants you to do that. Now, if you look at Damian Maia, who is a successful jiu-jitsu practitioner, he wore his guys out. If he didn't get the submission, he did not, he did not risk it. And so a lot of people say, oh, well, his fight was boring. He held the position. Yep, he did what he had to do. He may not have been able to, to always get the submission, but he, he made sure you were not able to do damage. And so what you see happening now is a lot of jujitsu guys are wearing themselves out trying to get the, the submission. And the wrestlers have taken on the old mentality of jujitsu, and they are able to take the fight to the ground, hold the guy there, and then if the submission comes, the submission comes. If not, I'll just tire you out, wear you out. It's the old, old strategy. And nobody says this is boring. Nobody's going to tell you that Khabib was born. No one's going to say that Khabib was born, even though Khabib was doing what Horace Gracie was doing a long time ago. Nobody's going to say he was born because he was winning. Nobody cares. George St. Pierre, everyone said he was probably born, but everybody paid for his fights. One of the highest paid UFC MMA fighters because he was winning. At the end of the day, people only care about winning. They don't care a darn. You can be a highly entertaining fighter, but if you're losing, you're getting cut from that roster. I promise you. I don't care what anybody says. So, there you have it. The other thing is chasing the position, give up the chasing the submission gives up the position and it allows for strikes. So, because it works for certain fighters, if you look at a lot of Charles Oliveira's fights, um you know, guys are able to stand up in his guard, land punches. You know, uh you give up a lot of position. In, in, in that regard and that is not the right strategy for Islam because Islam is looking for you to go shoot for a triangle so he can come over the top and land some punches he's looking to stand up in your guard and so going for submissions sometimes can put you in a bad situation the other issue is is that as is, Islam is the better 
wrestler, he can control the situation a lot better. He can control whether the fight is on the ground or standing. As far as Charles Oliveira, he can only do one or two. He can only probably pull guard, which is probably going to be very dangerous for him. He could... Um, win in a striking battle, but if he's just so happy to lose in a striking battle, then he can give up, or then he's in trouble because he can't get the fight to the ground. And as we we've seen in a lot of his fights, I believe because of his eyesight issue, he gets hit and he falls to the ground. He falls to the ground with Islam. Islam's like bet. I'm going to I'm going to nut hug you for this five minute rounds. The five-minute rounds changes the complexity and everything because if I'm Islam, I may not be able to win a jiu-jitsu match against a third-degree black belt, but I have enough jiu-jitsu submissions and understanding of grappling that I can hold this position for two minutes. So if you think about it, if I come out in the, in the round and the round is three minutes, well, I know you can't submit me in two minutes. Black belts can't submit a lot of purple belts in two minutes. You get what I'm saying? Even blue belts these days are very difficult to submit in two minutes. You have to be extremely talented and gifted, and it it just changes. <laughs> I'm I'm dropping some game here if you guys pay attention. So the other thing is jujitsu changes when you are in a cage. So if Islam, if you notice with um Davi Ramos, he kept he he put Davi Ramos against the cage, and Davi was trying to maneuver but he couldn't he couldn't use his hands to maneuver around the cage he was stuck so as long as your head is against that cage or your hip against that cage you can't do your submission you can't shoot triangles i mean arm bar is a lot difficult you you there's you're very limited in what you can do the only thing you do is stand up and the moment you try to stand up now Islam now knows that you're not trying to attack anymore. You're trying to get up. So now he can go for his submissions and his attacks. And, and it's a chess game at that point. What do I do? Do I try to hold his position and stay against the cage and lose the round? Or do I risk it all and get hammered and lose the fight? The jiu-jitsu changes because now you're in the cage with gloves and your back is against the cage. Islam has a very tight game. He gets very, very tight, chest to chest, and it is very difficult for anybody to get out of that situation. Not too many people can do it. Hoist couldn't do it. That's why Hoist, that's why under Gracie Jiu-Jitsu rules, it, it, it talks about maintaining the position, head, arm control, maintaining the control of the posture, and slow cooking, just really waiting for your time. If you think about all those older fights with Hickson, Hicks and Gracie and, and, and Horace Gracie, it was all about slow cooking your opponent and getting the submission, you know, because it's inches. But now when you're talking about having to fight within two minutes, one minute, and you have a guy that's smothering you, you're going to tire yourself out trying to get out of that situation. So it, this fight favors Islam. Now, I would be lying if I said that I wasn't rooting for Charles. I'm rooting for Charles Oliver. I love hearing these type of stories. I love I would love to see this 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 story because the last big person he fought beat him. That's Paul Felder. Paul Felder size gave him problems. So he he didn't want to strike with him. He took him, he tried to take him down and then he did take him down, but that tired him out and he took an elbow that hurt him, he didn't recover from it, and then he lost the fight, and, and that was his last loss. But now Islam is a big guy who has good striking ability, who has the ability to wrestle, and his Sambo in Jiu-Jitsu is just as nasty. People say, oh, it's Sambo. I hate to tell you this. Sambo, Judo, Jiu-Jitsu all come from Jiu-Jitsu. Let me rephrase that so you guys don't get upset. Sambo, Judo, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu all comes from Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu it's all Jiu-Jitsu. They're all in the same family. It's just the focus changes be between the, the, the different disciplines. And by by them being here in America, Khabib and, and them, I know that they have high-class Jiu-Jitsu guys. Luke Rocco is, is pretty decent in Jiu-Jitsu. You have, um, I believe... I believe Dave used to be out there. Um, but they have jiu-jitsu guys. It's not like they're just doing sambo. No, they do. They have wrestling guys and they have jiu-jitsu guys. So 
they're they're very prepared for this fight and for me personally it's a tough fight if Charles win then to me I have to say you, you you're gonna have to put him in that status with the Khabib status even though Khabib was undefeated he would have to be in that situation because Islam is a legit guy he's not like the other guys he's tall he's strong he can strike he can wrestle he's undefeated or he's not undefeated but he's you know he's this very tough fight if Charles go in there and win this fight yo to me that's his redemption story right there all these other fights they were somewhat redemption yeah they were pretty cool right but this is a redemption story because Islam is a big guy and Paul Felder is a big guy so either way it goes um, that's my assessment of it it's a tough fight because it's the styles that make the fight and I'm thinking about the time limit It's five minute rounds and you have to really be on point with your strategy. Everything has to kind of sort of be perfect. The moment things get out of whack, then that tips the hand to the other person. For example, if Islam, because there was a fight, and I can't dig it up, but there was a fight where I saw Islam, but he was a lot younger in his career. His jiu-jitsu wasn't good. He was in and out of position. At that Islam back then would lose to Charles Oliveira now. But the Islam I see now... He doesn't make mistakes on the ground. He knows his identity. He's going to make sure he keeps you in, in the guard. He's going to to um, to get his position. If you look at the Davi Ramos fight, his it was very simple. Put Davi against the cage and let me hold on to him and smother him chest to chest. He can't get out of the situation. And the moment Davi was able to create space, Islam stood up and let him get back up. And that's what you're going to see with, with the um, Charles Oliveira. He's going to try to fill him out. The moment he feels that Charles Oliveira is done, he's tired, then you're going to see him take risk. But in the first two rounds, even three rounds, he's not going to take any risk. He's going to, if he does take the fight to the ground, and that says a big if, he's going to go chest to chest, put him against the cage, hold him there, and let Charles Oliveira work himself um, at t tired, just t letting him tire himself out. It's like the strategy of a snake. A snake wraps his body around you, exhausts you, then he, then after he exhausts you, you die, then he eats you. An alligator, an alligator will take you to the water, drown you. Once you're dead from drowning, then he's going to gnaw on you and start eating you. But it doesn't happen. Like They're not going to eat a live animal. When you have Charles Oliveira is going to try to eat a live animal, and you have Islam, who is like an alligator or a snake, He's going to drown you first. So you see that the, the class or the styles, it's an interesting fight. As far as the stand-up goes, it's anyone's game. I think that uh, Charles Oliveira, just like all his fights, because of the eye thing, he's going to get hit. He's going to get rocked. He's going to go to the ground. And um, But after that, if he's not too tired, whatever, his, his, his stand-up will prevail. But... It's going to be an interesting fight. This is d Rod's M-Man Boxing. Yo, hit the like button, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. And listen, <laughs> I've been chilling on the videos because I had got copyright strike. I've been fighting with the UFC to get rid of this copyright strike. It's not happening. And I just kind of sort of just lost my energy dealing with it. Um, you know, had to pretty much lay low. I got shadow banned. So it was very, it was, it's been a very difficult time. I just kind of sort of just, you know, that's the problem with this channel. This channel, I'm always getting hit with copyright strikes. I still can't figure out how or why this guy over here can show all these different highlights and never get a, this guy over here is able to show an entire fight. Me, I show a picture, I show this and that, and I get hit. Or I show a couple clips. Even though it's, it's within the copyright guidelines, I still get hit with copyright strikes and they threaten to take the channel down. Other than that, I'm going to keep moving, keep pushing. This is d in Man Boxing. Tell me what you think. Peace.